One thing I wish I knew when I was coming out of college was how to properly manage my money. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven things that you need to know about money. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. I just can't get it down. My bad. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint where we're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's have some real talk here for a little bit. Uh, I know that, you know, once you start approaching graduation, things can get a little different and all of a sudden you start feeling like these weird words start popping up like taxes and deductions interest rates and fees managing money is a pretty difficult thing to do unless your parent is like a ceo and you've been brought up in the financial sector for a while um, then for the majority of you know the population finances are a pretty difficult thing to manage but don't feel bad because some of the most important steps to financial success are actually really simple at number one guys you want to learn how to make ends meet now what does that mean the first thing you need to master is how to live within your means so after you land your first job get a handle of your actual take-home pay so this is the money that you have after you account for taxes insurance retirement and other withholdings then you want to subtract your total monthly fixed costs like your rent utilities your car payment or a student loan if you have it and if you have an automatic contribution to a savings account then you want to factor that in too. so what you have left over after your set expenses is your discretionary income and how you spend it or save it will influence your budget your savings and investing so at number two you want to make sure that you put time on your side saving may seem like a stretch when you first begin to juggle the expenses of adult life but even small contributions can add up over time and if you're someone who's looking to invest in the future it's recommended that you have at least three to six months of your living expenses saved up at number three guys you want to keep it as simple as possible so a guy like Warren Buffett has always considered the single best investment to be a fund or a combination of stocks that follows the Standard & Poor's 500 index the S&P 500 index tracks the 500 largest US stock this can allow you to invest smart and have a diversified portfolio from the jump just based off of the S&P 500 and it's important to keep in mind that there are other layers to diversification like holding investments across stocks bonds and other asset classes and from different parts of the world number four guys you want to make sure that you're consistent when it comes to saving slow and steady really does win the race making monthly automatic contributions to a savings account can put you on a path to long-term money growth and economic security this approach can also work in long-term investing if you make consistent contributions this strategy is known as the dollar cost averaging this takes the emotions completely away from the equation and number five is don't blow the big picture so you want to make sure that you're paying attention to fees. Overdrawing your checking account or having a missed payment on a credit card payment can easily cost you a little over $30 a pop. And it can also ding your credit score in a negative way, which is something you really don't want. At number six, you want to make sure that you get tax savvy. So one of the most painful rites of passage into adulthood is coming to the realization that a considerable chunk of your paycheck will go to taxes. And trust me, the IRS will get their money. Luckily, there are ways to get around how much you have to give to the IRS. One of the best is a 401k or another a uh, tax-friendly retirement savings account. If you choose to opt into a 401k, your contributions are taken out before you pay taxes. Once that money is taken out, your take-home pay drops, then putting you into a smaller tax bracket. And that means you'll pay less taxes on your income. But like I said, the IRS will eventually get their money because of course, you will eventually have to start paying taxes on those contributions later on down the line. The only positive to take out of this is that over that course of time, your money has had a chance to accrue interest. You'll have years of collecting interest on the money that would have gone to the IRS anyway. 
taxes. So that is the positive to take out of that. And finally, for number seven, you want to pay taxes now and save later. 401ks are not the only option for your retirement. You can also invest in a Roth IRA if you qualify or if your employer offers it, which is a Roth 401k. Unlike a standard Roth IRA or 401k, these plans require that you pay taxes today, which means that when you are eligible to start receiving distributions in retirement, you won't have to pay any taxes on the money that you start receiving. But since everyone's situation is different, I suggest that you talk to a tax advisor to help you decide which retirement account is best for you. Like any stepping stone to adulthood, managing your money is a process. So by developing some smart habits and a little bit of knowledge today, you can set yourself up to be that much more ahead of the game in the future. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know where you are on your credit and credit card journey. And let me know if you have had any troubles in the past with learning learning how to manage your money. I know I did, so I'm always curious to know what everyone else's situation has been like. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. Peace.